All those times our parents told us about how rough they had it when they were kids have been put to shame by us, the students of 2021, because while they may have walked uphill both ways to school and back, we lived in isolation for an entire year. And for that, you are all the stronger from it. Now as we wrap up this year, we compiled footage of you, the seniors, in honor for such an achievement. Now presenting your senior video. My favorite high school memory was probably my freshman year when I got pulled up to varsity to play bowl in our district game for soccer. Uh, I gotta say, performing arts most likely, like being at stage a lot. So, yeah. um, when I was a freshman, I would take Mr. Rasmussen's passes and hide them in the ceiling tiles when he wasn't in the classroom. Um, working with the link kids. Definitely gotta say, being the anchorman for the morning announcements, um, Hunter sort of ruined it, but it was still fun. Uh, any marching band performance? The dance battle, the pep assembly during Halloween, or freshman year. Um, all the legacy students had to have a little karaoke hour during AF, and everyone just had a lot of fun, and it was great. Meeting Bethany! Uh, definitely competing in track. Mr. O'Brien is a great coach. Make sure you do stuff right. If you do it wrong, he'll let you know, that's for sure. Uh, my favorite high school memory, I'd say, is probably joining Village Green. Okay, my advice for the graduating seniors is, um, number one, to try everything and to not be afraid to take risks. Um, and the second thing, I think, is a big one, and it's to just not care about what other people think of you. I think that's kind of hard um, to do maybe in a high school setting, but in college and beyond, um, you know, you're kind of figuring out your life and you're becoming adults and everybody, you know, is going through the same thing. So just be you and don't be afraid of that. Hey, seniors, just want to wish you all the best in the future there. Hey, always be true to yourself. Do what you think is the right thing to do and you'll be on the right track. You all take care. Um, I want my teachers to know that I really appreciate them and all that they do for all the students. Um, I really appreciate when you guys say good morning in the morning because like, the first thing in the day is the most important. It sets up the rest of your day. Because you know, something bad happens, you're just grumpy and then you keep making stupid mistakes. But if you like, walk in and you guys say good morning, it usually sets me up for a good day. Most classes were decently fine. Thank you for teaching. Don't be harsh on kids because they're really trying, no matter what. Don't get mad at us if you don't have our work done right away because you can assign us a lot of work. <laughs> Um, I feel like some of the teachers are really unappreciated and that the students don't understand how hard teachers work and I really just want to say thank you for the teachers who have been with me for along the ride of this long four years of school and I'm really grateful. I definitely use spark notes to get me through over half of the literature in your classes so every time I said that I read the book I probably did but I actually graduated. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Lewis, you're bald. Sorry. Sorry for sleeping in some of your classes. I am better than my siblings. Um, the, when I said I didn't get my work done because I was busy the night before, yeah, I wasn't busy. I'm gonna be famous one day and all of you are gonna be upset if you were mean to me. Congratulations. Graduation is such a big deal and I'm so, so proud of all of you. Don't forget, you can get a long way in life by doing what you say you're going to do, showing up on time, and just being a good person. Good luck. Hey seniors, uh, congratulations. You made it through the most challenging of the 30 years that I've been here at Greenville with you. Um, and you made it look so good that I'm going to join you. So proud to be part of the class of 2021 with you. Um, as you move forward, just take take to heart the lessons you learned this year that even a pandemic and constant interruptions and change didn't hold you back. You were able to fight your way through it and show your determination and your grit 
and your patience and your compassion for other human beings. And that, my friends, is the ticket to a good life. Be kind, be understanding, be patient. Accept that some things are going to come your way that you just can't do anything about. And instead of being really sad about it, find a way to solve the problem. Work the problem until you come up with a solution. And if that doesn't work, then go to the next one. I've enjoyed all of my time here at Greenville, and uh, I'm really glad I can um, be part of your class because you're a class act. Good luck out there, and go Jackets. Hello, seniors. Hey, and farewell. Congratulations to the class of 2021. And uh, it seems like it was just yesterday where you guys were on the East Coast trip with me um, and uh, some of you with Mrs. Halleck and senior year has gone by that quick. Uh, we've had COVID and we've had all kinds of other crazy stuff go on, but uh, hopefully you were able to enjoy yourselves through high school and plan for the future. And I know you're gonna do great things. Congratulations and good luck. Hey seniors, it's Mrs. Schroeder, one of your counselors. You know, uh, last year, a year ago, when all this craziness started in our world, it was all about the class of 2020. And gosh, we just were focused on what a hard year they have had, all these losses. But at some point, I started thinking ahead and thinking, I bet it's gonna be harder for the class of 2021. I bet the losses are gonna be more for the class of 2021. And sadly, as we have experienced, there has been a lot of losses for you guys this year. Um, too many, and I don't even want to start to list them. It's been a rough year. But you know what? I was thinking there's been a lot of gains too. You guys have gained determination. You have gained courage. You have gained strength. And you have gained wisdom. And you've also gained a lot of love. We are sending you guys so much love. We love you. We know that you're gonna do awesome things in your future, and we are super excited for you. Go out there and change the world. Congrats, class of 2021. My plans after high school, um, I plan on going to Eastern and studying video. Um, I plan on going into trades. I really want to be a residential electrician. Uh, pursuing a degree uh, to major in dance and performing arts and a minor in business. Um, I'm going to head to Eastern University and study sound design. Well, first I plan on getting jacked, changing my name to Bob Stone, joining the CIA, come back for a guy, name might be Kevin and uh, do some big CIA mission. But you know, if that doesn't work out, I might as well just be an electrician. I want to be the first um, generation college student. To go to Ferris to be a, or to go to MCC and then go to Ferris to be a first grade teacher. Um, going to college for fashion design. Go to GRCC to do sign language in culinary school. Degree in physical therapy or occupational therapy. Uh, go to college, hopefully get a job, and then go from there. <laughs> um, I am going to Jackson College to continue playing soccer and study either nursing or elementary education. Now that it's senior year, I am going to miss it a little, but like, if you asked me freshman year, I'd be like, no. Absolutely not. Oh, it was definitely. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to miss the people. Um, yes and no. I'm definitely going to miss some of the friends I've made in high school because, you know, when you get a job and stuff, you might not be able to see them as much. But I definitely won't miss taking math classes. I am, but I'm also not. <laughs> Nothing's better than Mr. O'Brien telling you you did something wrong, and then if you do it right, you'd be like, good job, that's what I told you to do. Honestly, yes. Absolutely not. <laughs> not a single thing. I mean, sure, when I'm old and I have kids and I wish I was young again. Uh, 
Um, Timmy Turner once said, obtuse rubber goose, green moose, guava juice, giant snake, birthday cake, large fries, chocolate shake. Beautiful. In the great words of Anakin Skywalker, I don't like saying it's coarse, it's rough, and it's irritating, and it gets everywhere. I would rather die looking good than being alive and look ugly. It was live like no one else so you can live like no one else. My mind is not working with my brain. Dylan Dyke said that. I came in with three days and I'm leaving nine straight, so. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Uh, Ron Swanson once said, be a man, so I try. Congratulations, class of 2021. You've made it. It's been a long uh, couple years. I mean, four, but especially the last two. You guys have shown so much resilience and um, you've pivoted over and over again. And I am super proud of you and where you stand right now. Um, I hope that you are able to take the lessons not just the academic lessons that you've learned at school the last four years, but also the world lessons, the life lessons that you have obtained and take them and do better and be better and make the world a better place because we need you. Congratulations. Have a great life out there. And don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> just kidding. Mwah! We'll miss you. Bye. It wasn't what we anticipated, and it wasn't what we wanted, but it's what we were dealt. We were buried with this pandemic, but much like when a seed is buried in the ground, it'll soon grow. We made the best out of this year that we could, and for that, we will be remembered. If we made it through a year of distance and isolation, as cliche as it sounds, then we can do virtually anything. We are stronger from what the world has put us through. When one door closes, another one opens. Alexander Bell. Is cereal a soup? What, what does that have to do with anything? Um, no? Huh? I'd have to say no. Because I think soup is a little bit like more like water, vegetable, like broth kind of stuff, and cereal is just milk. It's a cold soup. No, it's not a soup. Most certainly. I feel like soup should be warm, and cereal is cold. No, I'd say it's a sandwich. No, it's a breakfast. Well, that would mean milk is broth. It is a hot dog, a sandwich. Of course. Bread, bread, and filling. You got the meat in the middle between two. Bread buns, that's, that's pretty much it. It's not classified as a sandwich, is it? No, it's a sub. Uh, fact, considering it is two pieces of bread with meat most likely in between with other dressings and condiments within, that by definition, according to Google and other sources, scientists say it is a sandwich. No, no, that one's a soup. What time is Because people are like, no, it needs two separate pieces of bread. I'm like, no, because then what's a sub sandwich? I call it pastry because pastry has only one hole, definitely has one big hole. If it was a sandwich, you'd have bread and then a bread and then it'd go together and be a full crease on the outside. I'd say it's a pastry. No, water is not. It makes objects wet. You can't get water to make other water wet. Uh, fact, 
it is uh, not wet considering the fact that the hydrogen bonds between each other are polar, containing the water cells with the... Also, no. I remember learning about that. I don't, I don't think it is. I think when water gets on something, it's wet. Yeah, it's water. No, because well, that means that you can remove it. Uh, I'd say it's more dry. How do I shut this off? I can't remember. You can cut that part out. Bye.